بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سی ایس پرو یوزرز ٹوٹوریل آن پبلش ڈیٹ فنکشن یو فریکوینٹلی اپ ڈیٹ دا اپلیکیشن بٹ دا انیمیریٹرز ڈسپائٹ یو انسٹرکشنز ڈو نوٹ وی ویل یوز دا پبلش ڈیٹ فنکشن ٹو ایڈریس دس ایشو ایچ ٹائم یو لانچ دا اپلیکیشن یو ویل سی ویریس ٹائپس آف ایرر میسیجز ریکارڈنگ دا اپلیکیشن expiration if the application is about to expire you will see this message on your screen and based on the days specified in the message you will be able to work more days if the application days are up you will see this message on your screen you will also be unable to work in this application after 12 p.m. midnight if the application has expired you will see this message on your screen you will be unable to work until you update the application it is time to look at the logic in the CS Pro in the declaration section we have three dummy variables with numerical and string statements In the declaration section, I also have one string array statement. The array's name is app months and it has a size of 12. We have the names of months in the array statement. The month of January is stored first, followed by February, and the remaining months are stored in that order. These names will be used in the array message. Using the pre prog statement, The logic was written in the second tier 3 node. We will use two different ways to save the published date. First, we will type the published date manually and then save it in the dummy variable publish day. This logic is written with 5 days in mind in order to update the application every 5 days. You can add more or fewer days based on your needs. If the time difference between the published date and the current date is greater than 5 days, these error messages will appear and the application will be terminated. We are using date diff function to return the difference between two dates as a number. If the condition is false, execution moves to the first else keyword. Again, We will get the difference between two dates as numbers by using the date diff function. And after that, minus the difference from the number of five days. Get the difference in the dummy variable days left. In the else keyword, I am using another if else statement. Your application will not function after 12 p.m. midnight if the stored value in the days left field is equal to zero. This error message will appear on your screen and you can continue working after pressing OK. We get the expiration date based on the number of days left over here. As we have seen earlier during the application testing that the message was after two days you will be unable to access the application. On 8th October 2022, please update the application. We will use the make text function and an array to get the month name instead of the month number to display a date in this format. If the expression is false, the block of code inside the else statement will be executed. We will first use the make text function outside the brackets followed by the string expression percentage d returns it as an integer which we will use to display the day percentage s will display it is as a string and we will use this expression to display the month name while the third expression percentage d will display the year these three expressions will be enclosed in the double quotation mark put a comma after the quotation marks 
and then pass three arguments add the number of days left in the first argument which is saved in the dummy variable days left in the current day using system date get the current month number and then get the month name from the array app months in the second argument because the month number is now 10 the 10th name will be october finally in the third argument use the current year i am using two string expressions in the error message and passing two arguments to get the information for these string expressions the first argument returns the total number of days left while the second returns the date the application will expire instead of entering the publish date manually you can use the publish date function whenever you create the pen file the value returned by the function will be the date and time that the dot pen file was created simply divide the publish date by 1000 thousand to obtain the date only the end result will be the same in either case i hope this tutorial helps you develop better cs pro application please see the cs pro help on the publish date array make text system date and date diff functions for more information keep on learning and goodbye